are you? I'm Sean. Hi, Sean. How Lovely are you? Lovely to meet you. We're like this, a, yeah. here. This is, if you take a seat That's on that. There. Is that easier for you? Yeah, or that cool. yeah. So, Jennifer, this is for Radio FM 104, The Juice in it's Ireland. Irish Radio. Nice. We love you in Ireland. Thank we're, you. We were so thrilled you came, actually, last year. October. You finally did the world tour. It was fun. Did you enjoy the Irish oh, crowd? Yeah. Yeah? Did you go out at all in Dublin? Because we like to have a good time and party in Dublin. We know you like to, you like to no, live it up. Everybody kept asking me if I was going to have a Guinness. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't drink. I'm sorry. I don't drink. Yeah, exactly. We have to stay healthy. Jeez, you have to stay healthy to perform the yeah, moves you were pulling true. last night on Britain's Got Talent. I don't know how rock stars used to do it in the 70s when they used to like all the sex, drugs and rock and roll. I don't, I don't know how you can do that. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do it, I assume. I couldn't do it. Yeah. I couldn't do it. So last night, oh my God, that performance was amazing. Oh, thank you. How, how thank do, you, you. do you, like, okay, you've said your diet, obviously you don't drink, you don't smoke. I assume you've got to go to the gym. You've got to be in serious shape. That yeah. was serious moves you were pulling. Right. It, no, it definitely takes a lot of stamina and you do have to stay. When I know I'm going to have to do a bunch of shows, I, I kind of crack down. I'm not, I don't love to be in the gym all the time. That's not my style, but I do, do get in shape when I know I have to okay. perform live. And you're one of the most stylish people. I know every time I watch the Oscars, the red, car, the big red carpets, you always look, you really do always look a million Thank books you. last night, but you always are edgy too. So last night, obviously that kind of swimsuit outfit causing a lot of drama <laughs> online. Who choo is choose? It really? It is. People, some people are like, going, oh my God, that's outrageous. Of course, Was I'm embracing really? it. It was amazing, but you're always, yeah. a, you have to be a little bit edgy, don't you? I mean, you know, I think that's, that's part of our job, no? Is to kind yeah. of push the envelope and be ahead of the curve and ahead of fashion and stuff like that. Do you still have the Versace dress, the famous one? Yes. Was, I think the Daily Telegraph called it the fifth most iconic dress in history, by the wow. way, from the Grammys in not, 2000. Not the first, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're so ambitious. It's you the first. The first. Is it the first? Yes, it's the most iconic red carpet in history. Howard, uh, Howard Rubenstein, the editor-in-chief of InStyle magazine, makes the list. Well, how does it feel to be the first? <laughs> Much better than the fifth. Yeah. <laughs> Is it important to make a statement when you do hit a red carpet, though? Like, is that what you're thinking when you're picking the outfits? There's no point in wearing something that's just going to blend in. Cares, yeah. No, no, no. It's fun. I, I like playing dress up since I was a little girl. So for me, it's like the ultimate dress up, you know? Okay. Uh, and it's funny because now I see my daughter and I see like how much she loves it. So it's like it's a fantasy for any girl to, to be able to do that. So if you're going to do it, why not do it big? Was it fun to perform the new single though, Live It Up, last yes. night? Everybody's on this. I assume you're, you're expecting this to be as big a hit as Get On The Floor because Get On The Floor just took over. Yeah, On The Floor was a huge, huge hit. And, um, I, I, you know, obviously I feel really, really uh, fortunate about that. And I think Live It Up has that same type of potential. It's just a, a good summer song with the message that I wanted to put out there at the time. It's funny, when I got the song, it was called Give It Up. Oh, right, Which you okay. can understand yeah. what that was about. And I was like, ah, that's not, not where I'm at. That's not what I'm feeling. I said, you know, what can we make this song about? And we changed it to Live It Up. And after doing the Dance Again tour and, and that whole song, learning to kind of pick up the pieces and dance again, I felt like what I've learned about life is that you have to be happy. You have okay. to live in the moment. And you have to, you can do anything you want. Just be happy. You can, you can accomplish what you want. You can do what you want. You've got to live in the moment. You've got to live it up. And... Um, and that's why I wanted to do that. I just wanted to make the song that. It's just funny. I always kind of make songs for kind of how I'm feeling and then what I'd like to, to say to the world, you know. And okay. So Live It Up definitely was is fun to perform. And you're working on the album now, I believe. Yes, Red yes. One just said on a red carpet this week that there's four or five bangers, he's calling them, <laughs> that are on that album, right? Which I was, obviously there's going to be bangers on the album. It's a yeah. J-Lo album. Yeah. But uh, what can we expect then? Are you, have, is it finished? Is it nearly it's there? It's not finished. It's, it's getting there. It's funny because he's like, oh, it's almost finished. But then I think to myself, we have till November. I think we're not releasing till November. So uh, probably two weeks before November, I'll still be <laughs> working on it and pushing to see, you know, what else we can come Because you never know. You just... An album is something that kind of evolves over time. It's okay. not something you can just go, I don't know, this is done here, put it out whenever you want. It just grows and grows and grows until you go. Are you a perfectionist at all then? Do you, do you keep working on it until it's perfect? Because it seems like everything you do seems to work and be huge. So Yeah, I mean, nothing's perfect at the end of the day, but you want it, You want to make it the best that you can make it. And the, I think as, when you do an album, you want it, what I want, I want it to be you know, something that I love at the time, you know, that becomes as an artist is something that reflects who you are in that moment. Like I look back on my old albums and I go, that's really who I was at that time. From the music to the sound, to the feeling, to what I'm saying, to the, 
your fashion, all of it. It all right. was just in that moment. And that's what I try to do every time I do an album. Okay, so some artists actually, as they uh, move through their career, turn their back on their older material. Because yeah. uh, they just kind of go, oh, I'm sick of it, I don't like it anymore. Yeah. Whereas I still love your old stuff. Do you, yeah. do you still love the old stuff? Are you still I proud think, of it? I think people, you can't ever neglect the old stuff because, or the stuff you did when you first started because that's when people first bought into to who you were as an artist. And so... And I just feel it's my responsibility to, to do the hits and to do the hits the way that they want to hear them. You know, yes, you can mess around with a song that everybody knows, you know, and kind of mix, you know, you know, mix it up or do it in a different way is always fun. Yeah. Especially if you're going to be touring a lot. But for somebody like me who doesn't tour all the time, when I go out there, I like to do the hits. Okay. When you came out with If You Had My Love, did you think you'd be here in the 2013 huge movie star? Huge yeah. pop star, <laughs> businesswoman, right. iconic perfumes. Like, did yeah. you? Did, is this what you thought, Jennifer Lopez? Where you'd be at? I didn't think twins. I didn't think about it. I, honestly, I didn't. You just, I was always kind of just like right then, and I love that. And now I think, you know, there was a time in my life where I started thinking more about the future, and, it, and that I don't feel like works for me. Okay. I think what works for me is just what am I doing right now, and do I love it? And do I, do I, am I buying into this for myself right now? Do I love this record? Do I love this thing? Do I like, you know what I mean? Do yeah. I love this person? Do I love whatever? Yeah. Right now, I'm not thinking about the future and I'm not thinking about how people are going to like it or not like it. I'm just thinking, does it feel right for me? Okay. And um, what motivated, motivated you originally to get into music, to become this pop icon movie star? And what motivates you now? Because surely back then you had so much to achieve where you've almost... You have achieved it all, really. But it doesn't feel different, though. It no? really No, it doesn't. It, it still feels the same. Like, I still want to make a great record right now, you know. And, and even when I was doing it back in the day, I didn't think of it. I think about making my first record and some, you know, somebody who I was uh, in my life at the time saying, you got to think about that. That's going to catch a, you know, that, that song is not good and it's going to catch a brick. And I was like, I don't even think about that. I'm just making music and I do the same thing now I don't think about is this gonna be a big hit or is it not or okay. are people gonna like it or are they not and I just think I want to make something that really feels right to me and the same way I felt then is the same way I feel now you okay. know I I just I still want to keep growing as a singer and a performer and a dancer and an actress and and all the stuff that's happened I I don't um, I didn't think and I don't uh, think about what it was going to be then like oh I'm going to be rich and famous and uh, I just wanted to sing okay you know <laughs> yeah and, and now has motherhood changed you as an artist you think have you changed it all in, in your well, approach to your to what you do that does change you does this yeah it really does because it changes you as a person okay it changes how you feel and so you be things become more important to you and certain things become less important to you so it just changes Again, what you choose to sing, what you don't choose to sing, um, things that were important to you before as and are not as important, different things take priority. You know, I thought I think about all my first albums and they were all about love and this fairy tale idea of love and you know and all this stuff. And now I think more about life and being happy and making sure that the world is the great world for my kids and and think it. I think about you know loving myself and teaching them to love themselves so that they're a whole person and and putting that message out there more as opposed to just I hope I find Prince Charming <laughs> you know I mean? do you know what I mean I know like, exactly what you mean, yeah. that's what kids do to you they 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 take the focus off of like certain things and they put it on the more important things okay and what if Emmy or Max came to you and said mom I want to be a pop star yeah um trust me if they wanted to be in the they were a real artist there's nothing i could do to stop them i could only help them and support them along the way and give them the best advice that i could because i know that when you're a real artist there's nobody that can stop you you know could anybody have stopped you no <laughs> that's it no 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 i love it <laughs> and, and and so so mother, motherhood obviously has an impact on your touring and everything you took on yeah. this huge world tour your first ever world tour I know. and you, it's when you have twins like what made you pick that point in your life yeah <laughs> Did you bring, know, I assume you brought them with you. I wasn't thinking about it. No, <laughs> no, if I was, uh, it was funny. I, I was like, oh my god, should I do this with the kids? Can I? Can I do this? Is this going to be smart for them? For me, you know. But I just felt like, again, I go with my gut, and it felt right in the moment. 
it felt like I hadn't done it and it was something I wanted to do, something I needed to do. I want to keep pushing the envelope of who I am as a performer and doing things that might be scary um, and might be risky because um, I don't ever want my kids to be afraid to do anything. I want them to always face their fears and go for it. And so I just keep pushing myself in the same way. Okay. I, I read that you bro brought your mother on the tour with you as well. That fa yes. Family, I assume, is very important to you. I saw yes. that. Was she even tutoring the, the kids yes. on the road? Well, she was a kindergarten teacher for I don't know how many years, so many years. So I wanted to take the kids with me, but I didn't want them to, like, not be behind because kids start so young these days and, like, preschool and circle time and all this stuff. Yeah. So, excuse me, I just felt like you know would you come on the road and would you be with us and tour the world but at the same time teach the kids you know and okay. get them ready for kindergarten because they start kindergarten in September and they both you know they already know how to read and so it's good is it hard for somebody like you to have relationships when everything you do is scrutinized so much everything if you go for a coffee with Casper even yesterday yeah. I saw on Daily Mail did a picture yeah. up straight away is it hard and being so busy as well yeah how do you is it even worth having a relationship when you have to go through all that? Yeah, I don't think about it. It is my life, you know what I mean? If they want to take pictures of it, it's, you know, okay. And if I don't, then I don't do certain things, you know what I mean? So I don't I don't let it uh, dictate my own personal life and space, you know? There's mm. a way not to be in a picture if you don't want to be. Okay. Yeah. Which comes first for you, music or movies? I know this is a really hard question, but like yeah. if you had to give up one as well, a career? Yeah, I wouldn't give up either one, you know, and I don't feel like you have to give up one thing for the other ever in life. If there's things that you love doing and things you want to do, then you should do all of them, and that's always kind of how I've approached life. Very good. What, what's next for you then? Obviously, you're going to do the album. Are you going to do another movie? Parker just came out, so you've just yes. done a movie. Oh. Yes, I'm going to do two more movies this year, probably, maybe three. Wow. We'll see, yeah. Do you ever stop? Lastly, before I go, uh, like, do, do you? Do you love? You must just love working all the time. I love. I love what I do. I really do, and I feel very fortunate and grateful to be able to do what I do. So, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Well, Jennifer Lopez, thanks Thank a million you. for talking to us. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Is there any Thank chance you do um, some links for us? I've written them down. I don't think I you can read do my a writing. Quick one. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jennifer Lopez on Dublin's hit music station yep. FM 104. Hey, I'm Jennifer Lopez on Dublin's hit music station FM 104. Thank you very much. Thank you, sweetie. Fabulous. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Take care. You look fab as always, by the way. See you.